There's no point in talking about Linux if I can't edit my videos and record it Linux. I would say the Windows counterpart would be Sony Vegas Pro. And that's saying a lot. Kaden live. Hi, 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 hi. Okay, so a few years ago when uh, we had a nasty fence switch living next door, um, similarly to the wood trim here, you know, we had that going across there and another box thing there, you know, and um, long story short, fence switch um, forced us to, you know, to take that out. You know, I dug my garden out of there. You can only really make a copy of the garden. You can't really move it. It all just kind of grew back anyway, right? So, the other day, and today's Mother's Day, by the way, interestingly enough. But So the other day, my next-door neighbors that live there now, they've been without water. And as you can see, the water junction here um, goes right through this tree. So, unfortunately... This big, beautiful, lovely tree is going to be getting cut down by the city tomorrow. But, Fence Witch did us a favor. Because, imagine if I had a fully established garden right there. And then all of a sudden the city comes and says, hey, that's gotta go, this tree's coming down. Because they're gonna dig up from like, here to there. And you know, partially in the street and stuff, they're gonna they're gonna tear this up to, you know, fix this water line, and uh, it's uh, gonna be a bit of a mess. So if I had anything there, it would have been devastated. So um, in that way, Fence Witch did me a favor. Thank you, Fence Witch. And we simply just transplanted what was growing around the tree right to here, and um, Katie and her little friend Jake helped me do it, and. Uh, Everything's doing good so far. So, cool. And our garden is looking beautiful and all that good stuff. But, yes, this beautiful tree is soon going to be no more. But on the bright side, my trees are going to be getting a lot more sun when that thing goes away. So that means my trees should be growing faster. And I got a lot of flower trees, so that is cool. Call from train rape. Oh my goodness, I have a call from train rape. Hello, train rape. I have a call from train rape. And I got it on the camcorder this time. I got it on the camcorder this time, too. Huh? I said I got it on the camcorder this time, too. That I have a call from train rape. Mm -hmm. Hello, train rape. Hello. Well, they are demolishing uh, that tree over there. And then this one is going to be next. Wow. It's almost out of battery power. I'm gonna have to replace it. So sorry, it suddenly it cuts off. Well, I missed that coming down due to uh, battery death here. But um, we'll be able to 
get a good view of the tree over here. So, they're cleaning that up. Then this tree over here is going to be next. That, that one's in queue. <laughs> well, that truck's going that way. That truck's going that way. I'm not sure why. Those guys are still down there and they got their little crane. And they're taking the piece of the tree. And they're lifting that up and scooping it in and all that. Now they are leaving with their load. I thought they were going to do this tree, but apparently not yet. So I don't know when they're coming for it. It was supposed to be today, but I guess we'll see. And this is a kitty cat meeting. They are both staring at nothing. It is a kitty cat meeting in which the kitty cats stare at nothing. Oh my lordy, look at that. Nah, no. That has got to go. That is extremely poisonous. Maybe they weren't looking at nothing after all. Guess they were looking at something, huh? Yuck. Okay, it's one day later. And they're finally here. I told them, when you want I'm recording, them, by the way. When you want them to cut a tree down, they won't do it. When you don't want them to, they won't. Well, what I told Dad is that when a corporation, like the water company, wants a tree cut down, they come right away because money talks and the rest walks. But when an individual citizen wants a tree cut down, seven years later, they still may or may not do it. You know, they could run the water line around the tree, but they won't. Oh. <laughs> I know that's falling on my garden over there, but it should still be fine. Eliminating the tray. You know, we had a sickly tree over here. It took them seven years to cut it down. But you know, they'll come down and cut down a perfectly good tree just because they will not run a water line around. There goes our tree, baby.
Hey, they're going to cut this baby down. There she goes. Timber! Woohoo! Because they follow. This is our this is our city at work. I don't want to do this. That sucker is dry. our city at work finally after seven years I get this tree cut down and three guys working not just one guy three guys on the job working not just one guy working there you go city of Chicago that's what we like to see our tax our tax money uh, going get away, Pete, get away. God, oh, it's, it, I don't believe everybody's working. Usually there's five guys out here and one guy only works. Beautiful. You got it. Hey, can I uh, do that for you? Huh? Can I do that for you? I wish I could let you, buddy, but I thought I'd get in trouble. All right, we're happy to get rid of that baby, let me tell ya. We did a lot of practice. Huh. We're, we thought it was gonna fall. Streets and sand. They were out here working on the fire hydrant. Five guys, one man working. I asked them if they wanted some lounge chairs. Next time you don't ask them, just bring them out. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, they don't screw around. These guys work. You got another one down the street they're gonna have to cut down at the water leak. Yeah, they're doing a few of them around here today. Yeah. Seven years I've been trying to get rid of that tree. Only seven? Only seven. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, that that saves uh saves the help of about two or three guys. Yeah, I don't know where she's going, but she ain't gonna get around. Yeah, I don't know if she got enough. No, there's not enough room. She'll have to back up. She'll probably drive on the parkway. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Great job. These guys work. Oh, yeah. I can lift up a car.
Nice job. That's fantastic. You guys doing a great job. That that's cool how they got that boy. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, boy. That's pretty slick. <laughs> Oh yeah! Unreal, huh? Yeah, boy. Uh, have to worry about that. Oh, what a what a pleasure! Seven years trying to get that sucker down. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they'd send somebody out and the guy says, it's still green. Yeah. I said, yeah, I said, that's like a man 95 years old with tubes all going through his body and he's laying in bed. And I said, in another, in another uh, six months, he'll be dead. Well, they probably didn't put up a blockade down there, I don't know. The other guys put up a blockade because they were dropping the street. Hey, as long as you're doing that, you might as well do the whole uh, curb. <laughs> Wise guy. Thank you. Great. Oh, look at that. Everything's automatic. I said, you better look out. That guy's going to sue your ass in the window there for screwing up his garden. <laughs> <laughs> and he saw me with the camera? Yeah. He's like, I don't care. They're assholes. <laughs> They're total assholes. Oh, my garden will be fine. I know. I was just making a point. That's all. <laughs> I said it took him seven, year, seven years to cut down a dead tree, and this one, a beautiful tree, they got to pop it. Yeah, uh, of course, me and Mom were just talking about that. Oh. Uh, no, he can't get his fucking saw to work. <laughs> well, that's quantum physics for you. Fuck you, prick. He no, gets, look at this guy. He wants to he go gets, through. Yeah, he gets cocky and his saw now shuts look, now down. Look, this guy wants to get yeah, through. Yeah, there's the quantum can. physics. Yeah. Why didn't they block off the street down there? They're a bunch of stooges. They don't give a shit. They're, oh, I know. They're a bunch of fucks. They're, they're shit. This city of Chicago is shit. Yeah. Oh, you know, I saw a post on Facebook. Rahm Emanuel is going to be giving a bunch of jobs to illegal immigrants, even though it's illegal. He don't care. They're totally disrespectful in how they do it. The guys in the water company were pretty cool. Yeah. These guys are assholes. Hmm. It looks like they cleared some of the stuff away from my garden there. <laughs> Either that or the universe just pushed it that way synchronistically. <laughs> I'm not sure which. <laughs> there's Mr. Big Mouth. I don't care.
I don't care. <laughs> Smile, you don't even know you're on YouTube. It's not even illegal. When I'm on my property, the law states that I can have whatever surveillance I want. I could stream it online. I could do whatever I want. Here's the guy with the big mouth to my dad. Mm. There goes dad. There's Connie over there. <laughs> Smile! <laughs> I think they're all big and bad just because they got chainsaws. Oh, he's moving it away from the garden. Thank you. Nothing like speaking a little legal to motivate him. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. And here we have the big mess. Now it's time for Big Mouth to come around with a chainsaw. And he's going to cut the main tree down here. I don't care. Well, yeah, you work for the city. Of course you don't care. It's almost a prerequisite to not give a fuck to be able to work for the city. With few exceptions. Look at Rahm Emanuel. He doesn't give a fuck. He is the city. <laughs> Actually, he's the city's penis, because he's a big prick.
Timber Puya. And it's gone. And the way our street looks is forever changed. But at least now my trees will have a better sunshine. So now they're just going to cut up the main big pieces into smaller pieces so they're easier to deal with. Yeah, you know, this supervisor's a real man over here. He's playing with this big hard wood. He's not a supervisor. A supervisor's sitting in the vehicle over there. Oh, uh, well, That's whatever. That's the one we thought they were blocking. They got a cone up down there. Uh. He, he's a supervisor in a black vehicle. Mm. I was telling him about the chemtrail. Really? Yeah, he never heard of it. Well, tell him to look up when he's in. I did. I told him one line. I think I could do one line. No, I mean literally look up. <laughs> you can see. Hey, you know what was funny? You make that little threat and he says he doesn't care and all of a sudden he starts being really careful with that garden. I saw him actually take a piece that fell in there and move it out himself. They could have just piped around the tree, but they won't. Well, it's because of the way the piping comes in. Yeah, well, if they're going to tear everything up anyway, and they're going to be running some new shit, they well. could still... They don't want to do all that. I know they don't, because they'd rather... We can do all that. I don't, they'd rather destroy. That's the city. Well, you know, on the bright side, our trees are going to have a lot more sun, which means they're going to grow faster. Oh, everything's going to grow. The old man across the street probably trying to figure out why the fuck are they cutting that tree down. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. Because yeah, he don't know what's going on. Yeah, I know he don't. <laughs> and now they're playing with their big hardwood. Using the grabber claw here. Oh yes, we want to keep this baby, but they cut it down. The bastards cut the baby down. Oh my god, you killed the Kenny tree. You bastards. God damn it! God damn it! You cut down the fucking tree, you fucking bitches! You motherfucking prick! You cut down the goddamn tree, you tree, motherfuckers! <laughs> oh my god, they cut down the candy tree, those fucking bastards! They will rot in samsara for all eternity, those motherfucking pricks! <laughs> well, they're playing with their big hard wood there, you know. They got their big hand. Yeah, they're fondling their wood. <laughs> Our neighbor here is still looking like, What the heck are they doing with this tree? No, a man. Too bad fence, which no, is. No, I think he's moving his car so we can drive around. Him. Too bad fence, which is in here. She'd be like, tree perverts, tree perverts. You're up in the tree, tree perverts. Big hard wood.
Now they are drilling out the stump. They've got the, what they couldn't haul packed in over there. I've never actually seen them drill out a stump before. First time for everything. Just a big grinding wheel. He's got his truck over there with the remnants from all the other stumps he's drilled out. It's like a big saw. <laughs> Look at that sucker. Now these three cutter or the the stump driller guys are pretty awesome. Because they let me take just pretty much as much of the stuff as I wanted. And they filled up buckets for me and everything. And they also left me a bit extra over here to deal with. So I've been putting it in my flowers and stuff. And So those guys are pretty cool. I like them. And so I put this stuff everywhere. Put some over there. All up in here. And the tree is no more. Looks so barren there now. I used to point my camera up and there's a big tree there, but no, not anymore. Now it's gone. So I put it all up in here. Up under the bushes all over the place because then as that breaks down it creates fulvic acid and plants love that love it love it love it so i put it all in there behind the bushes back there don't know how easy that's going to be to see or not but yeah So that concludes our little garden update uh, in regards to the Department of Forestry doing their thing.